Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with Hollow Point Firearms and uh, just got uh, back from uh, the couple of local grocery stores that we here, have here in our, our small community of about 5,000 people. Um, we actually have two grocery stores and so um, it's it, there's no big stores, they're both kind of small and so it's kind of convenient because usually when one runs a sale the other one tries to outdo it and they go back and forth and so normally you can find some pretty good deals. Now, um, in a lot of uh, a lot of ways, um, people see couponing as something that old women do. But I'm here to tell you that couponing can actually save you a lot of money, um, and uh, can help you build your food storage a lot quicker and on more of a budget. So, uh, with a combination of coupons and sales that I managed to um, sort through in a couple of the sale papers. Uh, we picked up um, quite a bit of, uh, of more food for our food storage tonight. And so uh, I'm just unpacking it right now. And uh, let me get it all unpacked and I'll show you guys what we got and how much we spent. Alright guys, so this is the, um, the collection of stuff that I picked up tonight. Um, I've got some stuff setting up here. And then uh, I've, I've tried to spread it out the best I could. Get it all on here so that you guys could see. Um... Anyway, we'll uh, just kind of go over what I got real quick. Um, I picked up, we'll start up here. I got the uh, the Sunkissed Tuna um, on sale. Two cans for $0.99, cents, so um, less than $0.50 cents a can for the uh, the tuna. Um, I got the Spam. Uh, it was regular, I think, two seventy five a can, maybe three less than $3 a can. And I had a coupon, buy three, get a $1.50 off. Um, the oats I got on sale for, um, I want to say a little bit less than $3. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the prices here, but just going to show you guys. Got uh, four boxes of rice roni, um, four boxes of macaroni and cheese, box of Ritz crackers, um, two cake mixes. Um, you know, we went over this before in the, uh, the pastas thing. I got some more of these. They were uh, three for three dollars tonight, so once again a dollar a piece um, got a couple of cans of corned beef hash um, four more pounds of oh, I'm sorry yeah four more pounds of sugar um, got, actually picked up three jars of Prego um, we, le we left one can downstairs in the uh, in the kitchen uh, in the cabinets we've got a couple of cans down there already so uh, went ahead and put a third one down there and then I brought the other two up uh, I got one can of pink salmon um, and then I picked up five cans of the big cans of pork and beans got these for a dollar a can um, and that's pretty much it guys um, basically what I wanted to just touch bases with you guys on is to show you how much I got here and you can see this is this is a um, you know a, a pretty substantial amount of food for one trip um, you know what we try to do me and my wife we we don't buy just to prep. We go grocery shopping, and uh, for you know everyday groceries. And while we're there, we pick up on the sales and the extra stuff. Um, now, keep in mind, my food prep items I do use, um, you know, in my kitchen. Uh, if I run out of spaghetti sauce, then I'll come up here and grab a can. And the next time I'm at the store and I find it on sale. I'll get um, you know a couple more cans or three cans like tonight. I got three cans for five dollars tonight, so um, uh, I got a pretty good deal on that. Um, and so what I'll do is the next time it's on sale, I'll pick up some more. Um, and what that does is that's the that's the the art of food storage is as long as you have food storage, you can eat out of your food storage. And that does two things. It helps save money, and it also keeps your stock rotated out. All right, so, um, you know, it's a it's a great thing to do food storage. But um, all in all, everything that I got here, I totaled everything up, and uh, I spent uh, right at about $30 on everything that I got here. And, you know, while me and my wife were at the store tonight, um, you know, I really it really dawned on me how much, inflation has caused the prices of groceries to go up um, it is ridiculous and uh, frankly the only way that me and my wife can afford to buy groceries now is when we do um, catch them on sale 
Otherwise, uh, you know, we would be eating, um, heck, not even Spam. Spam is expensive now compared to what it used to be. But, um, you know, a lot of rice and beans if it wasn't for the sales and the coupons and stuff. Now, like I was saying earlier about the coupons, um, coupons are awesome. And uh, I have found a couple of websites um, one is coupons.com I think is the it's a dot com address but uh, coupons.com it's so simple it takes five minutes uh, go on there about once a week go through um, over 200 coupons that are up on the screen you check the box on the ones that you want to clip and then you click print your coupons uh, they print off on your uh, printer and you cut them out and take them to the store um, and we went to two different stores at the first store we saved something like six dollars and fifteen cents at the other store we saved over twenty seven dollars by using coupons and the sales ads so a lot of savings there um, and you know I just wanted to put it out there coupons are not just for old ladies uh, they come in really handy when you're trying to save some money and it doesn't take a lot of time anymore like it used to setting and clipping through the Sunday paper but anyway, guys, it's about midnight right now. Um, just, uh, you know, we got home, uh, got dinner made, and and got the groceries put away, and then I brought this stuff up here. Getting ready to put it away in uh, the rest of my food storage and wanted to uh, share that little bit of information on coupons with you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you all later.